Alrighty, finally, I was back at the park today. I don't go on weekends. I finally went on a weekend in a super long time. It was awesome to finally be back at Wonderland. It felt so weird not being able to go to Wonderland this week. I love my drone shots. Honestly, I think nothing compares to my drone shots. Um, even when I'm in the park, I feel like my drone shots are just a better overall picture, but it just felt so good to finally get back into the park and do a construction update. I don't know if you're watching this clip right now, but I'm filming on a Saturday. And what do we see here? We see workers, workers working on the rebar cages for the footings of the second half, I guess if you want to call it that, of the coaster. And boy, have they made progress in that area. It's insane how much work was going on. In fact, there was work going on in the track site as well. So as you can see here, they're continuing installing the support structure for the staircase and the elevator system. I know there's a better word for or a proper word for the elevator system, but I'm going to call it that at the moment because I don't know the proper word. Um, so the elevator system for emergency evacs and stuff like that, the sunlight tours, sunlight tours or whatever they call it at Cedar Point, and they're installing the netting as well. Um, as you can see on the truck there, that is the staircase for the lift hill that they brought in. They are definitely working on the weekend, in my opinion, again, I don't exactly know, to get this lift hill installed on Monday. So I have a feeling you're going to see this lift hill go up Monday, Tuesday, and bam, they're probably going to be done installing the lift hill by Wednesday if I had to take a guess. I could be way off on that. But it's looking like they're rushing this, working on the weekend, so they can install it on Monday. Now, this is where it gets crazy. If anyone remembers, there was a forest over by Timberwolf. Keyword, was. <laughs> so as you can see here, the forest in Timberwolf Falls has been decimated. Um, as you can see, there's lots of construction vehicles there. They removed the pathway. They removed a lot more trees than even the than they even had to to fit the coaster in, which has me thinking shops and theming and stuff like that. But this area looks like a desert. Um, it looks so weird seeing it. In fact, I've included shots at the end of my construction update to show you more angles of the construction site and what they're doing. Now, what's interesting is they removed the icy shop that was there too. So there was a little small icy shop that they didn't use once this season that has been bulldozed from, as you can see. Um, they have the Timberwolf pathway completely marked up with orange spray paint for removal. And yeah, it's just this whole area is definitely going to look very different next season. And I couldn't be more excited. It's sad to see the trees go, but sometimes you have to see things go in order for newer, bigger, better things to come in. Um, so, uh, not much else going on in this area. No theming, no signs of like structural stuff. They're still just building the coaster and that's going to be that way until about December, um, January. But as you can see, here's a close up shot of that first V frame. So in my last video, I think I called it an A frame. I apologize. It is a V frame support structure. The next one going in, I think is the A frame. And then the drop also has a frame. So V frame is when it doesn't have that little piece connecting the two to make it an A it's a V frame. So here's the V-frame, and uh, on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever they install this lift hill piece, it will connect. So two pieces together at a time, which should complete the lift hill with just two track pieces going in. Now, what's interesting is the tunnel. So from this angle, yes, it looks like nothing else is going on. But unfortunately, I couldn't get in any zoomed in shots because it was too dark. They're installing more electrical down deep inside the tunnel, right where, where the wire goes all the way down. There's a new electrical box going in for a different wire or circuit. I'm hoping this means there'll be some sort of fog element installed with this tunnel as that would be sick. Not seeing where you're diving into, I'm really hoping for it. So now, as you can also see, I feel like I'm losing my voice in this video. There's so much going on. I've missed so much. There's a lot of electrical work planned for this area with the yellow markings. There's also red markings too for where they're going to excav excavate. And uh, as you can see here, Timberwolf Falls queue line is cut off. Now it gets even more interesting. Not only is Timberwolf Falls queue line cut off. They have excavation markers all around the old Timberwolf's Falls sign and the waterfall, and they remove the lights that shine onto the Timberwolf Falls sign. So this whole area, in my opinion, looks like it's going to get a really big makeover, and I couldn't be more thrilled. So I'm definitely understanding why this coaster is rumored to be in the $35 million cost range. I think they're including a lot of other costs into that. So we're hearing that this project was well over the cost of Leviathan. We're hearing well, like strongly over the cost of Leviathan, and it's making sense now. It's a bigger project than just a coaster, and I'm excited to see the renderings for the station and Frontier Canada. I know the park has said that more is to come, so I couldn't be more excited for all that information as well. 
Um, as you can see here, there's been so much tree removal that you can even see Timberwolf now. Timberwolf's lift hill is there, the ride is closed, it's shut down. And as I said earlier, again, the queue line is marked for somewhat of a removal. You can actually, I think, see temporary wood installed there. Um, but here's another angle of what used to just be like trees and trees and trees. And now it's literally like there's timber off the crane and no trees. <laughs> um, lots of guests. I'm talking lots of guests. We're definitely interested in taking a peek um, and looking. Uh, people were making jokes about us standing in line already for the 2019 season, which was really funny. Um, and it's great to see a lot of um, guests actually having an interest in coasters and interested in what's coming. We aren't used to that at Canada's Wonderland or in Canada, so it's definitely great to see a lot of people super excited about what's coming and happening at Wonderland. This world record dive coaster is gaining a lot of attention. Um, so I'm super excited for that. Again, there's a close up of the markings in Timberwolf. Orange usually does mark excavation. Sometimes it does reference other things. But as you can see, there's kind of like an outline that they've tree removed. And here's the markings that are around the Timberwolf sign. Anyways, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. I thought there was a lot to look at. Um, this actually may be one of my favorite updates yet, just because I was so shocked when I got there and saw the tree removal. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to see. Have a good one, guys. Bye.